This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Keep watching for more information and a special offer. Well, it's been an impressive couple of weeks in the Ruboss household because we've been getting regular visits from a mysterious thief. And it's thanks to my impressive skills as a master detective <coughs> uh, that we managed to catch the culprit in the act. But let's begin at the beginning. We are an animal-friendly household, and so we have a few bird feeders. And we've discovered that sunflower seeds are a particular favourite, and we can buy them in bulk. But there are a couple of problems. First, we found that the bird food we buy often comes with added egg of moth. If you keep the bird food indoors by the summer, you have a serious moth problem. So we keep it outside. Second, it's surprisingly difficult to pour seed out of a five kilo bag into one of those little feeders. So I also have a plastic bucket with a tightly fitting lid and a measuring jug. I fill up the bird feeders with seed from the bucket, which I periodically top up from the bag. Both the bucket and the bag I keep outside on the patio, tightly sealed. But starting a couple of weeks ago, I would be faced most mornings with this. Now, at first I assumed that I hadn't put the lid on properly and one of the cats had knocked it over, but no matter how tightly I put the lid on, it kept happening. There was only one explanation I could think of. It seemed plausible, especially since last year we'd had to take Clyde to the vet with a very nasty bite, and the vet was fairly sure he knew what had bitten him. I should explain that we live out in the country and our cats are outdoor cats. They have their own special secret entrance that they can use any time they like, day or night. But I wanted definitive proof and a great YouTube video, so I decided to set up a camera. Now, my usual camera, the one that I'm using now, does have an infrared function, but it's an expensive piece of kit and I really didn't want to leave that outside all night. I thought I could set it up inside next to a window, but all I could see was reflections, so that wasn't going to work. So I invested in this. It's designed for exactly this sort of thing, and although it is a very cheap model, it delivers results that are good enough. It has a motion sensor, so I don't need to keep it running all of the time. The first night I set it up, our visitor didn't come. Of course he didn't. The camera was working, it saw our cats, and revealed that for some reason Lily came and sat there for about three minutes. And we have no idea why. But she's strange. Disappointing, but I did make another discovery. I refilled the feeders and then topped up the bucket with the last of the seed from the bag, and that is when I found evidence that our visitor had got to the bag as well. I hadn't noticed before because it hadn't moved the bag or thrown it around at all. It had just made a hole. Anyway, I tried for a second night. And bingo! There it is! And yes, you are seeing that correctly. It is a raccoon, exactly as I had suspected. Yes, there are raccoons in Germany. And this is how skilled it has got at taking the lid off the bucket. It didn't even bother to take the lid right off, just enough so that it could get its head in.
By coincidence, about this time I woke up with a terribly dry throat. On my way to get myself a drink, I happened to look out of the window and was able to watch the creature stuffing its face. When I got back into bed, I had the following conversation with my wife. Oh, I guess you can't sleep either, huh? Oh, I, I've just seen our visitor. Did you scare him off? Nah, what would be the point? I'll do it then. All told, it was there for about an hour. So, mystery solved. But hang on, raccoons in Germany? Really? Really. They are an invasive species here in Germany, but they love it here. Some of you may already know about raccoons in Germany, but if you've heard the story that they were brought here by the Nazis, that's a myth and it's simply not true. The map shows two main areas of population which correspond to two events in which raccoons that were held in captivity were released into the wild. The first of these events was deliberate, the second accidental. The first event was in 1934 on the banks of the Eder See in northern Hesse. Two pairs, which had been kept as pets, were released at the request of their owner by a forester called Baron Wilhelm Zittich von Berlepsch. Both females were pregnant, which may be why von Berlepsch released them two weeks before he officially got permission to do so. The second event was in 1945, when a fur farm just to the east of Berlin was hit during an air raid, allowing about two dozen raccoons to escape. These are the only two events that we know about, but there must have been more. Recent DNA analysis has shown more genetic diversity than you would otherwise expect. It's thought that there must have been at least two other events. Scientists now think that in total, at least 77 raccoons must have been released. They seem to be quite at home in this part of Europe and populations have continued to grow and spread and they are spreading to our village, which is here on the map. We've had them for years now, and it looks as if we're going to get more. And this is not particularly good. It's not yet clear exactly how much damage raccoons are doing to the wildlife in Germany, but they do eat pretty much everything, and that includes small animals. And as anyone who has ever had to deal with raccoons knows, they are a serious pest. Our worry now is that this one could find our cat's secret entrance. So we're probably going to have to inform the local gamekeeper, who will likely come with a humane trap and take the raccoon away for us. But then, who knows how long it will be before the next one turns up. If, like the raccoon, you've come from afar, you may find some of your favourite internet content from back home blocked in Germany. And that includes all those American sites that are geo-blocking their content because they still haven't updated their websites to comply with the general data protection regulation. Come on, guys, what's the matter with you? It's been nearly three years. Well, ExpressVPN can help solve that issue and even enhance your online privacy. Use this address or the link in the description to sign up for a 12-month subscription and get the first three months free!